Today here on rumblestrip.net and 10 minute test drive, it's... The football meat pies, kangaroos and honing dogs. Football meat pies, kangaroos and honing dogs. Wait, 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 no, no, no. Let's try that again. Today here on rumblestrip.net and 10 minute test drive, it's... We love baseball, hot dogs, apple pie, and Chevrolet. Baseball, hot dogs, apple pie, and Chevrolet. Close. Third time's a charm. Here we go. Today here on rumblestrip.net and 10 minute test drive, it's... We love baseball, hot dogs, apple pie, and Chevrolet. Baseball, hot dogs, apple pie, and Chevrolet. So there's a reason for our intro here, a callback to the 70s, because this Chevy Malibu is really a, uh, a return to form to Chevy from 40 and 50 years ago. And what I mean by that is a very good, solid four-door family car at a reasonable price that is well executed. Now you're thinking to yourself, well, Chevy, American, it's got to be garbage, right? Because, just because, that's what everyone tells us. And in the past, you would not be wrong with that. But with this current generation, it's interesting. It's different. Uh, the thing that struck us immediately was the build quality. Now, there still are some points in here where the materials are a little could be better, right? Uh, like little things like uh, the latch here for the center uh, console. Some of the materials in the door are not bad, but they're not, say, top, top of the class, right? So there are some things still, but long gone to the days of bad panel gaps and just really bad materials. This is a pretty solid car inside and out. From a styling standpoint, it's sort of the reverse of Cadillac, in that Cadillac does the nose and maybe forward of the A-pillars pretty well, and then everything else back is pretty forgettable. With the Malibu, it's a very handsome vehicle. Very stylish, as a matter of fact. The nose, though, not sold on that design quite yet. It's not bad. It's something you get used to. It's just maybe too rounded. Hard to say, but there's just something that doesn't strike us quite as quite as good as it could be. But that said, it's still like it's, we, like we said, good car, good looking car. Um, from a utility standpoint, inside very comfortable front seat, lots of room in the back seat for full size adults. Uh, at seat set for me at five ten, sitting behind me, plenty of room. In fact, you could probably be about six two and still be in the as a driver still be comfortable in the back. We have a whole suite of things. Heated steering wheel, nice. Uh, heated and cooled seats, very good. Uh, the Chevy MyLink here is is pretty solid. Uh, the Apple CarPlay integration is, is very good. If we're gonna pick on it though, it's a little, some of the, some of the, if you're sliding, say in between channels, you've got, you know, your series, you got your AM, you got your FM as you're sliding through some stuff. It could be a little quicker. The the other thing that uh, gets us is that the controls for the uh, for the stereo, the hands free, are up here behind in the steering wheel, kind of like Chrysler does, and it's one of our least favorite implementations. So, wish that would be a little bit different. The audio system itself is okay, and I'm going to stress the word okay. If you're not very picky about your, your the way your music sounds, it's it's not bad. If you're particular about it, you're going to notice a lack of highs. Um, you're if you're listening to something that has a lot of symbols in it, you're going to go, where are they, right? It's also a little cold. Uh, there's just a, a lack of warmth in in the sound, and it takes a little fiddling to get. Uh, the audio where it doesn't sound like it's coming from somewhere up here to, to get uh, as a driver you, you definitely had to fiddle to, to find a spot where it sounded like the music was coming correctly not just from some one spot up here 
So the drivetrain on this uh, Premier version, top line, is a two liter uh, four cylinder turbocharged engine. It has 250 horsepower at 5,300 RPM, 260 foot pounds of torque from two to 5,000 RPM. And you really do notice the torque on this. Uh, the car is swift. Uh, quick, yes. Lively, yes. You put your foot into it, you know you're going somewhere. It is pretty solid. The nine speed automatic on this seems to be pretty good. We've had no issues with how it upshifts. Uh, so many cars these days, especially with all the multiple gears, want to upshift as quickly as possible to maximize fuel economy. This didn't feel like it was trying to upshift to like sixth or seventh gear at 15 miles an hour. So good job on that. That said, nine gears gives you some pretty long gearing on the highway. So at 75 miles an hour, you're turning right about 1700 RPM. If you want to get to 2000 RPM in top gear on the highway, you're going to be at, if not just over three digits of speeds. Uh, this car is very comfortable approaching three digit speeds on the highway and not because you're trying, it just does. And here goes to another thing we talk about of the old days of the Chevy, of Chevy and the Chevy Malibu. You know, this in, back in the day, the Chevy Malibu was a good car for not just a daily commute, but if you had to do a lot of driving, if you were, you now say, a salesperson that had to do a lot of highway driving and traveling. And this Malibu feels much the same way. Get on a highway and it'll just go. We did our 65 mile. Uh, lap to test highway fuel economy and you know this thing just could have gone all day speaking of highway fuel economy this is rated at uh, checking your notes here 33 mpg on the highway we got 31 um, okay so not there however winter gas here in michigan is notorious for killing anywhere between one to three miles to the gallon for fuel economy so we'll call that about right the uh, city is set at 22 and the 20, 26 for combined. And we're seeing right about 26 in combined. So that's why, you know, we're not too, uh, too bothered by the highway fuel economy. We think it's probably pretty close to spot on. One of the other things we really noticed in this vehicle is the interior. Uh, not just the materials, but how quiet the interior is. So if you're just rolling with, uh, you know, no audio and you temperature, the, you know, the, the HVAC isn't blowing at speed, you'll notice just how quiet the interior of this is. It's cold day, so we got to have the heater on. But again, well done. You don't, there's not a lot of road noise that comes through. The, um, just well damp, and, and that's part of the reason why you can go very quickly on the highway without realizing is just that uh, sound isolation is, is very good. So, like we said at the opening, a call back to the to the old days of Chevy, of you know the glory days of baseball, hot dogs, apple pie, and Chevrolet. Well, here in Detroit, baseball, we have the Tigers. Fingers crossed. Pitching holds out. Maybe hot dogs. Lafayette Coney. Full stop. Apple pie. Yes, we stopped at the Polish bakery and got an apple pie because they're good. Although they're they're most known for Punchki Day. Look it up. So Chevrolet, hey, this one is pretty good. If you're looking for a family four-door car, you do owe it to yourself to have a look at this one. You know, is it as good as, say, uh, Kia Optima? Maybe not, but it has more room. Is it as stylish as the Ford Fusion? No, not quite. I think it, you know, the, the Fusion, I think, is still the best looking vehicle in there. Is it going to be a as reliable as, say, a Toyota Camry? Well, the, the few things are as reliable as a to Toyota Camry. Uh, but really, do you want to drive a Toyota Camry? There's a new one coming. It looks better, but it's still going to be a Toyota Camry. Uh, you know, and then you've got Hyundai Elantra, and uh, well, there's like 18 cars in there. You get it. Where does this fall in that group, I would say near the top. 
So again, you may not have thought about driving a Chevy for a long time. This one is worth a drive. This one, fully loaded, stickers at 36 grand, which, okay, that's getting a bit expensive. However, I think if you just like cough and, and hold off two minutes as the salesperson tells you the price, you'll get a couple grand knocked off. I mean, just look on any website for any Chevy dealership and there's an immediate two grand off the sticker price. So you're at 34. If you hem and haw and I'm sure, you know, negotiate a little bit more, you can get a couple more, a couple more grand off of that. So fully loaded four door family car for say 32, $33,000. That's a pretty solid value. We're actually excited to see a good Chevrolet again. Um, so much malaise, so much, you know, ugh, Chevy, bah. This is a return to form in a good way.